Simple Cafe Sound, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. Hey, here's a video for beginners to set up their TVs to their sound systems. Because I mean, just look at all this stuff. It can be pretty confusing if you don't know the fundamentals. That's why I made this video to go over those fundamentals. And perhaps with that, you'll be able to come up with your own solutions. If not, you can check out this video here. And by the way, up here, you'll see other videos come up that go into more detail for the set topic and you'll also find them in the description. Okay, let's begin. To be able to complete our setup, we should know three fundamental things. The first being, what type of speaker do you have? Essentially, there's two types, and by the end of this, you'll know the type that you have. They could look, for example, like this, or like these. Which side do yours look like? Let me know in the comments. If they look like the ones on the left, then those are called passive speakers as opposed to these are active speakers. If your speaker uses this type of cable, then you know you have a passive speaker. This cable is used to connect your speaker to an amplifier. And for the most part, speakers and amplifiers are pretty interchangeable, but every speaker requires an amplifier. Yup, even these active speakers. In fact, that's what gives them their name. The fact that they already have a pre-installed amplifier. Just like we can see right here. Amplifiers, like many things, require a power source, of course. That's why you'll see these come with a power cord. No matter the type of speaker you have, each type has its own advantage. For example, these active speakers over here are all ready to go. And I don't mean that they're portable. I mean that they're ready to be plugged in directly to your TV. Passive speakers, on the other hand, can't be, but they have potential for a more powerful punch. Each one just needs to be connected to an amplifier first, and then your TV can also be connected to that amplifier. Which brings us to our next fundamental point, in and out. For this, we're gonna move over to our TVs now. Now yours may have many or few ports. Regardless of the port, each one is designed for either in or out. Okay, picture this back in the RCA days. Remember when you wanted to plug something in like a Nintendo system? Well, you were plugging in through the in ports whether you knew it or not. That way your TV was receiving the audio and video signals. The same went for every other device like a VCR. And it's really the same idea nowadays, except now it's all done through just one cable, the HDMI one, and with even more quality. So in is for the signals of your external devices to be sent in to your TV. So that leaves us now with out. Out is for the signals within your TV to be sent out to external devices like a speaker. So you see the port in itself doesn't matter. What matters is what is the direction of that port signal. If you're looking to connect through RCA, make sure it says out. Here's an optical port, which may be labeled digital audio out, toss link, or SPDIF. We all know and love this one, the aux port slash jack slash 3.5 millimeters. On your TV, it may be labeled audio out or line out, or may even be marked with a headphone signal. In this case, it'll work just as well. This next one's pretty rare, but if this is the only thing your TV has, you'll be grateful. It's pretty much an RCA jack, but it's just one and known as coaxial. This video is gonna be left up here at the end in case you need further instruction on all of these. Here's this one just for the coax connection. Oh, and there's a new one. Well, not so much. Anyway, it's called ARC. It's basically HDMI, but it's gotta be labeled ARC ARC for it to do what we need it to do. Here's a video to introduce you and show you the advantage of ARC. Okay, and here are the links just in case you don't have one of these cables that you might need. Find them in the description and connect your TV to your sound system whenever you're ready. <gasps> but gasps, what do we do if the ports don't match up? Well, that brings us to our last fundamental, port connections. If you're lucky, the ports on your sound system and TV match up. But if they don't, not all is lost. Let's say, for example, we're trying to plug in our speaker, which only has an aux input like this. Okay, well, what if, for example, our TV doesn't have that same port? What are we to do? Well, easily enough, we just bring in one of these cables, an aux to RCA cable. Find it in the description. It can be flipped just like this, however you need it. 
So that's a great solution for that scenario, but what if your TV's ports are SPDIF or ARC, which happen to be digital, but the ports on your sound system are one of these, which are analog. These aren't just different ports, they're different signal types altogether. So a cable with both won't do. What you'll need is one of these converters, a digital to analog audio converter. Here's the video for that. But now let's say that your situation is flipped like this. Well, the same converter won't work. You'll need a different one called analog to digital converter. So watch out for that. Let's recap what we've learned. Two types of speakers. The active ones like these can be connected directly to your TV. The passive ones like these first need to be connected to an amplifier and that can be connected to your TV. Next was in and out. Your TV uses its out ports to send audio out to your external speakers. So that's what it's gotta have. If it doesn't, check out this video to see your options. If you need help matching your TV and sound system ports, these converters may help. I know this stuff can be a bit confusing at times, so I've made some videos to help you get grounded on some audio basics. So go ahead and have a look around. And if you're also interested in solutions for videos such as TV connections and more, have a look at my other channel called Simple Cafe Vision. Link in the description. All right, I'll see you on the next one and here's to your success. Cheers.